Ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, welcome to my channel. Thank you for dropping by. I am excited because I am going to play through Green Hell. This is a survival game that I think looks very interesting. It looks very tough. I'm sure I'm gonna have a lot of problems with it, but uh, it'll be fun, I'm sure. So uh, let's go, and if you like my content, then leave me a like and subscribe. I'm here. Hey! I made it! <laughs> Is everything all right? Yeah, you can come up. Um, you do know you have the walkie-talkie, right? You can come up. Just go ahead. Mm -hmm. I need to find something in, in my backpack. I bet you want to nap some more. I know you all too well. <laughs> oh, maldición. Can't hide anything from you. Very well. You can catch up, yes? The path leads through that canyon. Mm-hmm. I know. Oh, uh, have you tied down the boat? Si. Jake, um... <laughs> I know this might sound stupid under the circumstances, um, but I am glad we came back here. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, the place is beautiful. Still? Still, we can't forget what we came here for in the first place, I know. But, as soon as we're settled in, I am off to the Jabawaka village. And what if they will not speak to us? Come on, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're a phenomenal interpreter. If anyone can communicate with them, it's you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good thing I have an anthropologist at hand, Dr. Higgins. Okay, I found the tent. Is everything all right? The camp looks impressive. They put up a tent for us. Looks like everything's ready. Soul Trail always delivers. At first glance, it looks like we have everything we might need. Perfecto. Well, that's everything. We're officially settled in. You know what that means, don't you? I remember the agreement, but maybe you should... Maybe we should reconsider this. I'm not sure it's the best idea for you to visit them alone. Cariño, you know I have to do this. It's the only way to make them talk. Oh, don't worry. It'll be all right. Better pick up some wood. Let's have a romantic dinner. Romantic canned beans. <laughs> Use your imagination. Okay, so we have the first task, I guess. Now, let's see how we do this. Uh, I like the graphics. It looks very stunning, this game. Ooh, a machete. Nice. That might come in handy, I'm sure. Okay. So we need to build a fire. So we put down the template, or whatever you call it. Now we need some sticks. I can't see two. Are you sure you brought everything? Yeah, everything the porters left. Why? Is anything missing? I'm not sure yet. Uh, but it feels that way. Okay. So, we are gathering sticks. We're gonna make a bonfire. And then we're gonna see where it takes us. I have done the tutorial for the game, which unfortunately for me is the exact same thing we're doing now. So that's a good thing to keep in mind if you're gonna play this game. 
that you shouldn't be doing the tutorial from the menu. Just do the storyline and then you will do the tutorial as part of that. <laughs> Life is so much easier when you have a machete. Sadly, I'm pretty sure they're gonna take this machete away from me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Looks like everything's ready. Mia, can you bring me a lighter? Um, remember when I mentioned we seemed to be lacking some equipment? <sighs> Don't tell me. Yeah, we have no fire. <sighs> Not a single lighter, nor box of matches. Uh, we, we ordered both. Did you check everywhere? I did. You need to do it the old-fashioned way. Well, not the best start of the expedition. Okay, so what I did was I cut down that tree because I could see there was some uh, leaves on it that were dry. And I'm gonna use those dry leaves to start a fire. But first I need to uh, connect a small stick and a normal stick and it doesn't work. Uh, that's weird. Why does it not work? That normally works. Like a small stick and a big stick will make uh, a tool to create fire. Huh. Ah, I probably, yeah, I had to learn it. I had to go into the notebook and learn it. So now it should work. So we take a stick and a small stick. Ah, yeah, here we go. Then we create this and then we can use this tool to make fire as long as you have something dry, which is why I took those dry leaves. You can also use a bird nest and, and probably other stuff too. So here we go. A good thing to keep in mind when doing this is that you need to have enough energy to actually do it. We barely had enough this time, but we did. Oh Mia, the fire is burning. Coming, give me a minute. How do you do it? Hmm? What? You seem so calm. I am calm. I don't know how to explain it, but strangely, it feels safer here than there. Oh, I don't know. Jaguars, venomous spiders, and snakes. Let's not forget the scorpions. A <laughs> mere ant's bite hurts like hell. I am well aware of that. But still, we have a chance to achieve something. Make a difference. At home, all we could have done was be helpless and wait. I prefer the wilderness. Yeah, you're right. I'm optimistic. If we're gonna find answers, hell, it'll be here. This time we need to pay attention to the slightest details. Last time I must have missed something. Last time you were only making general observations. This time we have a specific goal. Nonetheless, I'm a bit worried about you meeting the Yabawaka. Everything will be fine. I need to go alone. We already agreed that's the only way. Besides, they don't seem to like you. They don't seem to like outsiders. They shot arrows at a military chopper. Hard to blame them. Since you published your book, they've been under siege by the media, scientists, doctors. The World Health Alliance established a medical camp and probably performed research, violating the tribe's taboos. But I will convince them. I have to. Okay, so Mia left already. Hello, Mia? Hey, sleepyhead. Finally up? <sighs> you 
You left already? Why didn't you wake me up? You know I hate farewells. Well, I was hoping we'd have breakfast together. You surprised me. That's all. <laughs> Admit it. You thought I forgot your birthday, didn't you? Well, I didn't. Okay, so this watch that we just got is a very essential part of this game. It will tell me what I need, like protein, water, uh, fibers and stuff like this. It will also be a compass for me to show directions oh, exactly and I tell wanted. the time. It even has solar batteries. And a macro element scanner. Check yourself to see if you're not missing any. We've been here only a few days, but stress can wear you out. Tell me about it. So, as we can see on the watch, we need protein. And how lovely, a protein bar. So, that makes it easy. <laughs> Gonna eat that, and there we go. Well rested and well fed. Perfect. And keep it that way. We need that brain of yours working at peak performance. I'll try to take good care of it. Have you found them yet? See. And, as expected, they don't want to talk. They behave as if I am not here. But they haven't driven you away. That's a good sign. You need to convince them that you're one of them. Mm-hmm. Agreed. That seems to be the right course of action. I will sleep on the edge of the village and only eat what I can find. Brave girl. Thanks for the encouragement. Looks like I'm on my own from now on. We can't get in touch so often as long as I remain in the village. Been thinking the same, but didn't want to say it. I really don't want to lose touch. If anything goes wrong, I'll leave the village and get you on the radio. Otherwise, you can assume everything is just fine and there is no need to worry. <sighs> All right. Let's focus on the goal. I'll be focusing on indexing new plant species. I think I saw a few new specimen around here. I am just collecting a bit of, uh, well, strings or whatever you call them, because I'm very likely gonna need those. And now we're gonna see what the board says. So we have some information about the tribes who live here, or the people who live here. And we have about the dart frog which apparently the local people here are immune to because they uh, inject themselves with it from child. We have some notes about how to cure poison if you get bitten by a snake or something like this, which is very useful because there is many snakes in this place that I know. We have about the mammals, which are not dangerous, but a very good food source. So hopefully we can kill some of those and get some food. And a bit more about the Lost Tribe. So next step will be to go into the watch and see if I can find the compass. There we go. Oh. Uh, and I need to go north and find a tobacco. So tobacco plants will be a very essential uh, part of this game. <laughs> they are very, very useful, so that is very good for us to find them and see how they look. I can't see any though. Well, we're gonna go this way through the rope. Because this is a tutorial and that is the only way we can go. <laughs> The tutorial in this game can seem a bit long and slow, but it is very essential. It will teach you the basics and at the same time help build up the tension of this story. It is actually a very scary game. Mia, I knew I was supposed to not call, but... A line snapped and I fell down a good 30 feet. Jasmine, are, are you okay? I'm not sure. Hold on. I'll walk away a bit so they can't hear you. Let me know once you have checked yourself. Oh, 
That's definitely not good. Uh, it's it's all right. Nothing's broken. Just scratches and bruises. Nothing to worry about. In the jungle, every scratch can be dangerous. You need to patch everything up. Do you remember how to do it? I can't say that I remember. Look for Molineria. It has uh, long leaves without any markings and is surrounded by yellow flowers. Okay, I'll go look for it. You should have it in your notepad. Call me when you've treated your wound. Roger that. Over and out. Okay, so this is another very essential part of this game and surviving. We need to uh, find this plant. It is fairly easy to see because it has these, you can see it right here, with the yellow flowers. This is a very, very essential plant because we can use this to make bandages. And bandages will save us at some point, I am sure of that. You can at the same time make normal bandages, but you can also make bandages with stuff on it to like cure, poisoning or whatever you have. So uh, that's very, very good to know. So we find the wound and we apply the bandage and we're good to go. Here I am, all wrapped up nicely. Does it hurt? Um, not much. Good. Hopefully it will heal fast. So, how are you doing? I'll be initiated in a few days. I am optimistic. I expect to be treated as one of their own after that. And I should be able to ask some questions then. Some elders are opposed to this, though. Luckily, Chief Kuini is on my side. Why are they opposed? I think... I think they were divided even before I joined them. The Chief wanted to approach the World Health Alliance peacefully, but a few of the Elders insisted on fighting. Now, the Jabahuaca basically have two factions. Sounds dangerous, Mia. Be careful. I'm not in any danger. I told you, I'm optimistic. Jake, please come in. Jake, I need you here. Jake, please, please answer me. Mia, what happened? Mia, speak to me. Mia. going on over there.
that will be it for this time guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it i will leave you with a little teaser yeah. of what is to come in the next couple of episodes yeah. have a good day